everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be discussing a topic that kind of broke. I want to say it was earlier today, if I'm not mistaken. I know that there were some things up in the air over the last few days or whatever the case was, man. But today, we're going to be talking about WWE releasing Jeff Hardy. Yes, very disappointing news for all facets, right? I, I feel like everybody loves Jeff Hardy there. Like, if you took the entire wrestling fan base and then you asked them individually if they were a fan of Jeff Hardy, Hardy or if they like Jeff Hardy, I want to say it would probably come back 98, 99% of people like Jeff Hardy. You're going to have your trolls out there. You're going to have your people out there that may say they don't like him or whatever, but I'd say for a majority of the people out there, man, we love Jeff Hardy, right? He's one of, he's one of my favorites of all time. I love Jeff Hardy. He is goaded. Everybody will tell you that, man. A lot of people just, we're just in love with this character. We're in love with Jeff Hardy, man. So that is obviously a huge bummer that he has been released by WWE. It was released this morning or it was reported on and there's a little there's a lot of things that come to my brain when I think about this topic because I'm not going to be one of those that are just going to just going to you know just mail it in on Jeff Hardy and just cr come crashing down on him because that's not the right thing to do and that's not how you should go about this so uh, the the reason all of this kind of speculation started is the other day at a live event or something like that I, I don't know if I can plug the video footage I don't want it to get flagged or whatever but basically Jeff Hardy comes out and he's kind of it, it kind of looked like he was either like in pain or impaired in some way it kind of to me individually it looked to me like he was in pain like it looked like he was kind of limping a little bit it kind of looked like his stomach was bothering him or something like that it just looked like he was kind of wincing you know he wasn't he didn't look entirely like himself and I don't know what the case was and I'm not gonna go out here and speculate on it and be like oh he's he's freaking yeah he's he's he fell off the wagon I'm not gonna do that because nobody knows jack shit and I'm not about to get on here and just destroy the man for no reason that's absolutely ridiculous and of course people are going to speculate people are going to talk about that being the first thing that comes to their brain given his past and giving issues like that however I saw that it was also reported that WWE offered him rehab and rehabilitation or rehabilitation or something like that I don't know if that's completely true I, I don't know if it's legit confirmed or not and I'm not going to sit on here because I don't know I'm not going to get on here and tell you that was factual that they offered him rehab and they offered him these things and he declined because I do not know that for a fact. I do believe that he has been released, but that other half, I'm not gonna, t I'm not gonna believe that second half just yet until more facts are known or more things come out about it. Because you know, not everything we hear on the dirt sheets could be, could be true. Now the release, pretty much positive. That like I could see that, given all the releases and stuff like that, I do believe it is confirmed. Jeff Hardy is released from WWE. But as far as reasoning and details, I'm not, will, I don't want to get into that just yet until we maybe know a few more things, maybe in the coming days or weeks or whatever the case is, man. But in all of this madness, I hope that no matter if he's released or he is in pain or that he is battling with addiction and demons, regardless of the case, I wish the very best for Jeff Hardy. I will be praying for Jeff Hardy and his family, and I want him to be healthy, thriving in life. I want him to, to do all the things that he wants to do that brings him joy in life, and I want his family to be okay at the end of the day. I want his well-being to be okay at the end of the day. Whether it's addiction-based, non-addiction-based, health-related, doesn't really matter. I just want the man to be okay. I want his family to thrive and I want everything like that to be square. So I know that addiction can be tough. I'm not saying that's what it is, but I know that addiction can be tough because people in my family have been affected by addiction. So it's honestly why I've always swore off drugs and alcohol is for those reasons, man. So with Jeff Hardy being released, a lot of people are speculating about AEW and things like that. That's not something that I really care about at this moment. Would it be cool? Yes, it would be cool to see him go to AEW, but he needs to be in a well state of mind. He needs to be in a great place mentally, physically. He needs to be, I want him to be thriving before he goes over there and attempts to wrestle again. So if that is the case, if it is demons and addiction based, then he needs to take care of that before he goes anywhere else. And obviously that stuff comes first. So if he goes to AEW, that's awesome. I want it to be under great circumstances and I want him to be okay. And I know AEW will make sure that he's okay before he even attempts to come in there. Some people are saying he may have went to WWE himself and asked for his release, but I don't know. But during that live event, I forgot to mention, he also like went for a hot tag, and then he just left the arena. He literally just walked out on Drew McIntyre. I think it was like a tag team match. It was like Seth and somebody versus Jeff Hardy and Drew McIntyre. And I think 
Jeff Hardy like did his deal. He went for the hot tag, and then he he just literally jumped the barricade and left the building, or he left the match. I, I don't know what the details were. I don't think we got too many details on that. But regardless of the case, if he walked out because he was hurt or injured or, or impaired, I don't know what the deal was, but I forgot to mention that he did walk out, so I did want to put that out there. But I don't know if he asked for his release. I, I don't know if that was the case or not. Again, I don't want to speculate on these things. I want, you know, we, we need to wait on these things before, and you know, we don't need to just put videos out here, you know, everybody just clamoring and stating things as if they're factual when they're actually not, so I want to wait until we have the facts of the thing until we proceed, but since Jeff Hardy is gone from WWE, this will mean that we will no longer be getting WWE action figures of Jeff Hardy at this time, so that does suck because, you know, like we have embraced Jeff Hardy as he came back to the company, man, they were pumping out figures and figures and figures, and we have a ton of figures of Jeff Hardy now, which is really awesome. Now, I don't know if he'll come back to WWE if he wrestles again or if he goes to AEW or what the case will be but if he does go to AEW we will get a figure of him I assume pretty pretty freaking fast because Jeff Hardy flies off shelves but again man all those things are kind of like nobody really did that. I don't want to focus on that stuff at the moment we do have a ton of WWE elites of Jeff Hardy I'm very thankful for those WWE elites when he was with the company and since he has been released now uh, I do have the collection that has uh, I have a ton of Jeff Hardys man I have a ton of Jeff Hardy very excited for those. Very happy to own those Jeff Hardys, and I will continue to get Jeff Hardy figures. I hope the, the market doesn't skyrocket on them. They're pretty high anyway, so I, I don't know, man. Jeff Hardy is beloved, like I said, so his figures love to soar off shelves, and they go for astronomical prices anyways when you're trying to look for different ones and stuff like that, so it wouldn't shock me if they, if they you know, if they spiked again in price, but I hope the best for Jeff Hardy. I wish the best to Jeff Hardy, and I hope that, you know, I hope that he continues to wrestle. I hope that whatever he's going through, whatever Whatever the case is, I hope that he battles through it, and I believe he will battle through it because he's a warrior, and I think he'll be able to get the job done, man. He's an absolute beast. One of the nicest guys I've ever met. I actually did meet Jeff Hardy one time, and he, he was amazing, man. He actually signed, I don't know if you guys can see it, but he did sign my WWE spinner. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I do have a WWE Championship replica. He signed it. It looks amazing. I love Jeff Hardy for it. He was a, he was a great guy. Very, very nice, down-to-earth dude, and that was right before he came back to WWE, I actually asked him, I said, you're going to come back to the E? And he said, you know what, man, contract time's coming up, so we'll see. And uh, literally, I want to say it was like two or three weeks later, he was in WWE. So I'm pretty sure he was pulling my leg and he, uh, he had already signed with WWE. He may not have, but uh, it was pretty cool to, you know, interact with Jeff. He was very nice. And I've always been a huge fan of him, and that'll never change, man. Dude's an absolute beast. I wish the best for Jeff Hardy, praying for him and his family, man. But he has been released from WWE, and it does sadden me. But I hope he gets the help he needs and everything like that moving forward, man. But well wishes. That is going to wrap up today's video, man. I wanted to get on here and talk about this because we usually, when there's some big names released in the company, we do get on here and react to it and talk about the whole situation. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. Wishing the best to Jeff Hardy and his family. But I'm getting out of here man let me know what you think of jeff hardy down in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video thank you don't cross the line you cross the line